What's going on guys welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. Today I'm finally going to be starting a car build series. I said I wasn't going to do it because of how much of a faff it is to do in this game. However you know what I've decided I really do want to do it so we're just going to do it. This is going to be the Fortune Island Descent series. We're going to be using the Needle Descent course which is one of the first tracks you get in Fortune Island the expansion. Um, and we're going to see how cars can cope with it in a thunderstorm. Um, so our first car today is the 2018 Ford Mustang GT. Um, I've kept the stock engine in this, but it now has 486 horsepower, 443 pound, uh, foot pound of torque, weighs 3,276 pounds, um, and it's still rear wheel drive. So, and it's this car is in, um, forget about the Forza Thumb Live thing. Um, this series, we're going to get cars to the middle of S1 class. So I think it's like 750, something like that, PI. So that is the, uh, that is a cap for this series. But anyway, let's see how the Mustang will do. Alright, so this is where we're going to start. We're going to start from this last line here and what we're going to do when the time hits one minute, that's when we'll set off just so the, the other AI can have a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a head start because we don't want to catch up to them. So yeah, we're always going to start from this point and when we hit the minute mark, we will be off. I'm probably going to have three runs. Here we go. One minute. Let's go. I'm probably going to have three runs um, on this circuit with each car to see what time we can do. Um, we'll see what sort of times we're doing. I estimated it at around about two and a half minutes. I did it about two and a half minutes in a similar class car in the, in clear weather. Um, however, now we're in a thunderstorm because I thought, you know, doing it in clear weather, that's just boring. Let's make it a bit more interesting, um, especially because this is a completely road circuit. Um, no off-road or anything. It's completely on tarmac. Um, so, you know, we've got to we've got to spice it up somehow. And, you know, Fortune Island with the thunderstorm, it's pretty damn cool. Now, as you can see, I really wanted to use this part of Fortune Island. This is such an awesome part. There's, there's like these really zigzaggy, um, zigzaggy areas. Um, this one in particular here, it's just a downhill spiral, a descent. Um, just completely all zigzaggy. So the first, most of this um, whole track, to be honest, is like this it's pretty um you know pretty slow going and a lot of tight corners that you've really got to kind of be careful and make sure you take good speed but also be very very cautious of however at the very very end of the course it does get to a couple of pretty quick sections uh, some pretty fast bits so um you know it will test out cars with their speed but it's mostly a handling track and that's why i will be building most of my cars um to be more handling focused like I have with this one, I literally, I put pretty much all of um, the handling parts on it and then did a couple of whatever I had left over, you know, after brakes, springs, you know, um, you know, stuff like that, um, you know, fours of arrow and tires and things. After that, I basically just put on a couple of, um, of power parts and then that was it. This was really a primarily, um, primarily handling focused build. And that's what I'm going to try and do for everything. Um, as for drivetrains, I mean, of course, this is rear-wheel drive. Now, an all-wheel drive car is probably going to be better here in the wet. Um, however, I'm going to try and keep cars with their standard drivetrain if I can. Um, now, this is the faster part of the course here. You can see we got to about 70% and then we get to this, this uh, quicker stuff. Now, this corner here is one that I probably shouldn't take like that. I need to try and remember to go to the outside before we get to that corner. Um, otherwise, we take far too tight of a line and it just doesn't go too well. And then basically after there, it's just a run to the line with a little bit of a kind of S's section here. And we run to the line over here, and there we go. And what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna take a minute off the, the final time. So for example, our time there would be a 2.26, uh, a 2.36.617. So that's our first run. Let's see if we can do any better. All right, so here we go. Run number two in our 2018 Ford Mustang with lightning strikes all around us. Let's see if we can get any better than a, 220, a 236. Let's go, all right. Bomb it, we're just gonna completely bomb it off the line. Who cares about the wheel spin? We'll just, we'll just put our foot down. I don't think we quite got off as quickly. The only thing with um, you know, doing this, how we have to go on the one minute mark, is that I'm not gonna get it exact every single time. You know, it's just not humanly possible. I just, it's whenever I kind of react to it and we go. Like, I do think I was a slight, you know, less than a second, but I think I was slightly um, slower to get going that time than I was the previous time. Um, but, you know, that's just going to happen, and that's what we have to deal with, because apparently they don't want to bloody incorporate 
a time trialing mode or even just you know like they usually have where you can do races but only go by yourself like oh, I really don't understand why they haven't implemented that it's so so stupid but anyway we're on to the uh, the wiggly section that's what we're gonna call this it's just the wiggly section and then we have the far section at the end um, trying to concentrate a bit more you know get some good um, some good corners in here of course when commentating you know I'm never gonna get my best run ever I'm always gonna be able to do a better run without commentating Ooh, ran that a little wide there because um, you know while commentating I'm trying to concentrate but also trying to commentate um, so it's I'm never gonna get my best runs I really I'm really not so if you say oh you know oh, I bet I can go so much quicker than that you probably can because one I'm not the best driver in the world of course and two while commentating you just can't concentrate the same so um you know if you want to comment that go ahead but you know I'm not really gonna I don't know I'm not really gonna take offense to it or anything because it's just it's just how you try and commentate and you know drive to your best ability it's not it's not too easy so I feel like we're doing a little bit better through these sections this time um, of course I don't really know I, I can't really look at the, the time right now I'm concentrating too hard that's the thing with this track it is a very very oh, little bit of a little bit of a slide onto the dirt there it is a very concentrate heavy uh, track this one now let's try and get our lines better through these quicker sections um, I didn't quite get it right last time let's go to the outside here so then we can yep we got I think we got a bit more speed through that time it is a fairly quick corner if you get it right if you don't get it right though you have to slow right down and it will jeopardize the time I think we also got it maybe a little bit better through there Perhaps a little bit slow on the way out we could have done that a little better um, and then we just bomb it through here with just full power what time did we get that time what did we do that time we did a 2 234 381 all right one more time all right here we go final run for the 2018 Ford Mustang GT can we go quicker than a 234 381 We'll have to wait and see. Let's try and get a good one in here. That was a pretty bang on start there, I reckon. Um, you know, not too bad. A little bit of wheel spin, but you know what? That's what I'm doing. I'm just bombing it off the line. Who cares? I probably could do that better, but I'm just going to do that with every car. Just to, you know, make it fair. I'll just absolutely floor it off the line because then that makes it fair. Um, yeah, so can we go quicker? Now, I don't know how long these videos are going to be. This is quite... This track's quite a bit longer than the tracks I've previously used for, you know, my uh, the Blizzard Mountain Descent stuff I did in Forza uh, Horizon 3 as well as, the, you know, the crazy car builds. You know, you've got the race car builds and stuff in, in Motorsport 6 and 7. Um, I think this is, well, this definitely is a bit of a longer track. I usually try and get tracks that are only about a minute and a half long, maybe do four, four laps or four runs. Whereas this time, you know, we've got two and a half minute long track and I'm doing three runs, so... These videos are probably going to be a bit longer, but I mean, you know, if you guys enjoy them, you know, definitely, definitely tell me and, you know, obviously I'll keep going with the three runs. I think, you know, to get, doing three runs is definitely the way to go. Um, just getting twos not too great, so I think three is the better option. Um, so, you know, I don't know how long these videos are going to be. They probably won't be much more than ten minutes, even if they're more than ten minutes. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll see. I guess you guys will know already. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy, oh, I'm so happy with the track, Forza Horizon 4 in general, I think has, you know, the map's much, the base game map is much better than Horizon 3's map, um, there's just so much more variety, especially just in the roads and everything, but then Fortune Valley's just absolutely opened that up even more, I mean, getting a road like this, you had nothing like this in uh, Horizon 3 at all, I don't know about Horizon 2 and 1, because I haven't played those games, um, but... Yeah, I mean, these roads just don't compare to Horizon 3 at all. This is just such a crazy awesome road. Cut that one a bit fine there. Such a crazy awesome road. Um, yeah, just... Uh, I, as soon as I saw this road, I thought, I have to do a build series. I have to do a build series using this road. It's such a cool, unique road um, that I, I just couldn't pass up the opportunity. I really couldn't. Oh, we've turned in a bit too late there. Mm. Yeah, that could have jeopardized a bit of our time. That corner is a bit of a pain in the ass one, you know. You really have to get it right, or else it doesn't go too well for you. I think we have carried a little bit more speed through there that time, though. Whether we can um, finish this off quicker, I don't think we're going to. No, we're not. Even a bit of a bash on the wall at the end there. It was a slower run. I think that one was only like a 2, yeah, 235, 148. So, 
A 2 minutes 34.381 is the current um, fastest time on the track. It's also obviously the only time on the track so far, but um, you know, it'll be interesting to see what cars can get close to that. I'm sure as soon as an all-wheel drive car comes a into this, it'll absolutely thrash it out of the park, but um, I'm definitely interested to see what other cars will you know, what other cars will do on this track and what other rear-wheel drive cars will do in comparison to this one. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please go ahead, like, and subscribe. Comment what cars you'd like to see me do a build on with this series, and I'll see you guys in the next video.